Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of ways to make coins in FIFA. We're going to have low budget, mid budget, high budget. This weekend, especially on Friday, is going to be super, super easy to make coins. And the reason for this is because we just had a showdown SBC promo. Uh, there was nothing in packs, so people aren't really opening packs. That means there's quite a few saved packs. And on Friday, we are getting the foot captains promo and all the packs that people saved up are going to be opened on Friday as soon as that promo opens, unless you're saving for team of the season, but a good amount of packs should be getting opened on Friday. And on top of that, we'll have lightning rounds and all that. So there's a bunch of supply, bunch of hype with the new promo. So with that, a lot of supply, there's a lot of deals on the market, whether it's snipes, bids, whatever it is. So I'm gonna go through some filters uh investments you guys can keep an eye out for we're gonna start off i have a notebook in front of me with everything we're gonna look at the low budget side low budget investments you guys could do and maybe filters as well we're gonna look at bronze and silver rares one leak that we do have with the foot captains promo is icon moment sbcs daily so every day we should be getting an icon moments player sbc and if you look at icon SBCs, if we go to the SBC section, I'm not going to do that. But uh, every icon SBC has a bronze rare squad, excuse me, and a silver rare squad. So if we get good icons, bronze rares and silver rares could do pretty decent in price. And one thing that I'm looking at is maybe bronze and silver rares from top nations for they're literally min price. So like club stocking them, it's not a bad idea. And if we get... Um, if we get good daily SBCs as well, these cards could do good. They could go up quite a bit if they get into an SBC solution. So club stock, I wouldn't necessarily go crazy on investing, but I think club stocking, they're literally, they're so cheap. It really can't hurt you to just pick up a few for basically min price. Another thing that is good is just silver rare and bronze rare goalkeepers. These go nuts. They were 2000 coins. I just checked, but now they're, I think like 2200 these go crazy sometimes. If a good icon comes out and a lot of people are going to do it, uh, silver rare and bronze rare goalkeepers could go up quite a bit. So definitely, I think picking up a few of these could be pretty solid. Now, let's go into maybe some low budget filters you guys could do. You could probably hop on some gold bidding filters. I do these all the time. I tell you guys on stream, Twitch, that's the stream, YouTube, Discord, TikTok, whatever it is. Whenever these get cheap, it is really easy to pick up these cards. I have no idea what they're priced at right now. So that is definitely an undercut for sure. Let me check real quick. Is that actually there? Is the game that dead that that's just sitting there? <laughs> that's kind of crazy. 400 coins, that's just sitting there. And if we go look at the cheapest one, it's they're 800 coins and that was just sitting there. But uh, a few filters that I like, gold, Premier League goalkeeper, gold Premier League left winger, and gold Premier League right back. Whenever those positions are like 500 coins or less, it's really easy to buy a ton of them and just wait for a daily SBC. For example, uh, gold Premier League left winger today was crazy. There, It does so good. Whenever there's like, especially Premier League in marquee matchups, uh, whether it's Champions League or just normal marquee matchups, like today we had Manchester City versus Liverpool. These cards do really good. Uh, I don't really like the gold rares. They don't do as good usually as the gold common. So I'll usually do that. And we'll see what they're, they're actually down in price quite a bit. They were going for, I think, like 3,000 coins, 2,700 coins around there. One player that I like a lot is Damari Gray. Damari Gray does a little bit better than Pedro Neto just because he's English. Uh, that's a really, really solid investment. Mass bidding filter. Just go gold, Premier League, left wing, goalkeeper, whichever one of those and 500 coins or less should be pretty safe obviously if you can get for cheaper go for it there's other leagues that you can do this with as well but i always just do the premier league it does really good as well it does really really good gold premier league right back right now is up a little bit so i'd probably say try to aim for 400 try to aim for 400 coins on bid because they are a little low right now and with all the supply we're going to see tomorrow you should be able to get them for close to discord like this kiko if you can get this guy for 400 coins and you're on a low budget, this guy can easily, if a good daily SPC comes out, go to 3,000 coins plus. And that is going to be it for pretty much the low budget sort of investments. Let me cross that off. We're going to go into mid-budget SPC cards. I'll go through filters as well in a little bit because I'm telling you guys right now, some of the filters I'm going to show you, oh my 
God, you can make so many coins. Like you can win an 86 overall card that sells for maybe, I don't know what they're going for right now. Maybe like 12, 13 K. You can get them on bid for like 3000, 2000 coins. It's crazy. I don't know what their min price is, but close to that. Uh, here we go. We're going to go mid budget SPC cards. So players like Saul, you guys know, I talk about this dude all the time. I love him. Saul, Grimaldo, Pepe, whenever you can get these cards for like below a thousand coins, it is crazy. Saul right now, 1800 coins. There's Pepe, Kovacic and Mason Mount. These cards have been going nuts lately. I tipped Mason Mount the other day. I think he was like 1200 coins. What's he going for now? right back down he went up to like four or five k at one point the other day oh my god he's getting low oh ho, 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 ho. if oh if kovacic and mason mount get close to it are you there's gonna be a lot of investments you guys can make kovacic mason mount for around a thousand coins i wonder if you can get a filter on this let's do this together let's see if there's a little bit of a filter for chelsea let's go chelsea midfielder maybe who pops up on chelsea gold rare midfielder there's Ross Barkley, get out of here. Okay, I was wondering if I could get Kovacic and uh, Mason Mount in the same one. Doesn't look like it though. But uh, that's it right there. Gold Rare, Kovacic. There's a bunch. If you can get 83s for really cheap, I like this one as well. I, everything I'm doing today is just Premier League. There's other leagues La Liga, Spanish center midfielders. Those guys, Marino, Canales, uh, Guy is good. Yuri Bracic is good. Any of those cards for like a thousand coins or less is ridiculous. But this is another filter I tell people to do all the time. Gold rare goalkeeper Premier League. This is a pretty solid filter if you can get these guys for cheap. England. My bad. England. England. Gold rare England goalkeeper is Nick Pope in Pickford. Anytime you can get these guys for below a thousand coins, it's a pretty solid pickup. They don't necessarily fly as much as some of the other cards do. Like Witzel does crazy. Mason Mount, I, I showed those. Let's move on. I don't want to ramble too long. I just gave a ton of cards that you guys could pick up for hopefully below a thousand coins. You might even be able to win them for their min price because Friday with all the packs, it's crazy. Now, before we go into high budget Friday with all the packs, I want to talk about filters you guys can do. This is my favorite filter. I think I, I don't know if I posted a video on it this year in FIFA. I need to do an updated video solely on this filter. This filter right here is fodder filter. Last year, it was a bit different this year. We have price ranges that are kind of all over the place. So I go min price 700, max price 5,400, min buy now 10,250 coins. And we go to gold rare, gold rare. Search it. And what you're going to see is a bunch of fodder. It's the lowest rating you are mainly going to see is 83s. Um, there's a few cards that sneak in here or there. The 83s that you see are usually like usable 83s, like a Mendy, a Quadrado, a Kimpembe. But uh, during lightning rounds on Friday, obviously you see them at the 40th minute right now. I mean, sometimes it's glitched out. The market this year is so broken. You might have to mess around with the mass buy now to change it so you get the correct players. You see, we do another search, change it. Now we're at the 25th minute. So you can see that the game's broken sometimes. You might have to mess around to get the filter to work. But on Friday, there are so many packs being opened. Crazy, crazy amount of packs. Supply, supply, supply. Uh, maybe people aren't really watching the market. They're looking at packs. They're looking at the new promo cards. So getting on bids on fodder is ridiculous. I would say an hour after lightning rounds is the best time to start bidding because as soon as content drops, you have to wait an hour for those bids to pop up from all the pack supplies. So say content for you, 6 p.m. UK time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, wait an hour, so 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 7 p.m. UK time, start mass bidding on the fodder filter. What I would usually do, uh, if you know the filter works correctly, it's everything's been priced. There's like no bids. I go through, I bid once on literally every single card. Bid once, bid, see, it, you can tell right there that it was glitched. I go to the next page, I'm at the fifth minute. Bid once, bid once, bid once. You see like right here, 2,100, so I would bid 2,200. And I just go through, bid on 50 cards, and then I go to my transfer targets, watch everything, and I watch the bids from there. I go... A set of 50 at a time and say I win like five cards. Those five cards, I could make like 30,000 coins off just five cards alone if you get really, really good deals. It's crazy. Trust me. Try it out an hour after content. And then it's lightning round. So they go 50K, 100K. So you can keep doing it for, you know, a couple hours, few hours. One of the craziest filters you can try. And let's go into another filter. 
I want to make sure I got everything, uh, saved packs, new promo, lightning rounds, all that. Another filter you can do. And then we're going to talk about investments as well as in fodder because... I made a video the other day saying the day to buy fodder is usually Saturday. And then of course, the week after I made that video, they started dropping icon SPCs on Saturday. So the day to buy fodder, I think is Friday and team of the week. So we're going to go over that 10, 20, 30. This video is going to be kind of long, but it's going to literally go over everything. I hope it helps you guys out. This is a filter you guys can do as well. Maybe before, um, like right at content before you go and do that fodder filter i just showed you this filter is so good 10 20 30 make the quality special there's a few variants of it as well but all you this is the simplest trading method by the way if you don't know how to trade just do this all you have to do find a card with the bid boom tonali so i'm gonna come over here on flipping i'm gonna look up tonali this is his champions league card tonali sells for seventeen thousand five hundred coins this one is a center mid as well with a shadow on him so i could probably sell him for 18 19 k and that's it doing that at content while everyone's you know worrying about opening packs or the new promo this filter is crazy other variants of it a higher budget variant of it is 40 40 that's what i call it boom boom it's the same concept and then i've been doing this if you're on a high budget i put the amount of coins i have so i have 11 mil and I'll go min by now, maybe 100K. And there are so many crazy out-of-pack special bids that can pop up. And sometimes there's a cheeky icon bid in there. And you can make a ton of coins if you get lucky. Now, I talked about icon SBCs, how's, how they've been on Saturday usually. So fodder day is potentially on Friday. If you have any questions about prices, I'm not going to give prices on fodder right now join my twitch live stream link in the description down below i will talk about prices live on stream because i don't know what they're going to go to they could drop a ton so holding off on that it's also depends on leaks if we're getting casino spcs and stuff so let me cross off icon spc high budget we talked about the special cards also team of the weeks i think friday is a very good day for buying team of the weeks because weekend league rewards starts weekend league opens up people rush weekend league they get their team of the week packs and they open them right away so team of the week get pretty low on friday and we have the friday lightning round so if you want to buy team of the week cards i'm going to post a team of the week investment video tomorrow but just you know letting you know ahead of time i have no leaks of casino spcs i don't know if they're going to drop them i have no idea what's coming they flew this week i wasn't expecting all the spcs to happen this week we had campaign party bag 85 plus times three it was a bunch of sbcs so if we get that again team of the weeks will fly again right now i believe team of the weeks are like i'm gonna guess 17k they were 22k earlier but i'm assuming they came down in price yeah they're down in price if these guys come down to pretty much min price 10,000 coins let's look at the team of the week real quick just so i can you know shout out a few players for prices we're gonna go to team of the week and uh boom min price min price like 10k anything around 10,000 coins on especially these 81s a norwich center back for even like 11,000 coins you got to think about it with team of the weeks as well if you want to take the gamble i mean say you buy this guy for 12k and no casino sbc no 84 plus player pick no campaign party bag comes out the lowest he can go to is 10,000 coins. The team of the weeks, they have a floor, so you can't lose that much. But the highest they could go to, if we get all the good casino SBCs, is like 25K, 28K. So the risk reward ratio is pretty solid. Uh, but yeah, min price, I really wouldn't mess around with the higher, I mean, the higher budget guys, as in like Neymar, Sterling. Of course, you could flip those if they do get really cheap. I would maybe wait. For sure, I would wait till Saturday, at least Saturday for the um, higher rated team of the weeks because who knows how much supply we're going to get with lightning rounds. It also depends if they do late night lightning rounds like for Australia or whatever. It's It would be like 10, 10 o'clock at night my time and they randomly drop lightning rounds. By the way, this guy, I think he's going to be a crazy investment if he gets cheap. <sighs> crazy card. And that is the team of the weeks. And I think that's pretty much it. We went over the filters to do. We went over the team of the weeks. It's going to be a big day for trading on Friday. If you have any questions about it, I'm going to be streaming before content and after content for a few hours. I'm going to be live for a while tomorrow. I also got to finish selling all these stupid math tips. I think I have a few cards left over. 
But uh, Team of the Weeks, there they are. I haven't seen those in a minute. Uh, anyways, that's it. If you want to join the live stream, links in the description down below. Free trading Discord is in the description down below as well. I hope this video helps you guys out. Let me know how many coins you guys make as well. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.